हाँ सब फैकल्टी हैं टेक्निकल थर्मोडाइनिक्स वगैरह के सब वगैरह सर ये वो उन्होंने सारी चीज़ें कैलकुलेट करके बता रहे हैं पढ़ रहे हैं खत, अभी खत्म का हुई है मे बी इस वीकेंड हो जाएगी सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम पे पहुंच गए बंदा पीडीसी में वही तो एनीवेज क्लास शुरू हो गई माइक ऑन है बैटरी बैटरी सब फर्स्ट कोई दिक्कत नहीं लेट्स स्टार्ट कल क्या कराया था मैंने पता नहीं क्या कराया था यार नॉट ऑडिबल सर माइक इज ऑफ यस आई नो बिकॉज वी वर डूइंग सम कैजुअल डिस्कशन गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस अ वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो लास्ट इन लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मेथड्स टू कैलकुलेट ऑर्डर ऑफ द एक्शन एंड फॉर दैट वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस द काइनेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर मल्टीपल रिएक्टेंट सिस्टम नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द काइनेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर मल्टीपल रिएक्शन सिस्टम इन सी वी आर एस ऑब्वियसली काइनेटिक्स ऑफ मल्टीपल रिएक्शन सिस्टम first thing is what is multiple reaction system so as the name suggest in layman terms we can say that multiple reaction system means more than one reactions are there okay so in layman terms we can answer like this but as fortunately unfortunately all of us are chemical engineers so we should answer like that so what will be the multi what is the multiple reaction system according to a chemical engineer do you know that any one of you how can you define multiple reaction system
जस वंडरफुल संतोष Multiple reactions are occurring, occurring in a same reactor, in a single reactor with same reactants. <laughs> in lemon terms, yes, we can say that multiple reactions mean more than one reactions are going on. But we have to answer like a chemical engineer, and a chemical engineer will say, "Very good, guys, Santosh and Ratesha." Multiple reaction system is the one where more than one rate equation exists till now we were discussing about the single reaction system now we will also talk about the multiple reaction system okay so what was the single reaction system single reaction system was where only one rate equation exists okay for example suppose we have a reaction a gives b plus c or 2a gives b plus c let's say if minus r a is Suppose four C A square, then R B will be R B will minus R A over A equal to R B over B. B is one, A is two, so R B will be two times of C A square. R C will be two times of C A square from the relative rates. Okay, so here you can see that ultimately we have. the same rate equation although the constant is different but the nature of the equation is same so this is single reaction system but when we talk about a multiple reaction system so here we have four types of reaction system like parallel series complex independent to so suppose if i talk about some parallel reaction a gives b a gives c if minus r a is K one C A square plus K two C A square. This is some reaction. Two A gives B, two A gives C, K one K two. Okay, so minus R A is K one C A square plus K two C A square. So what is R B? R B will be minus R A upon two. So for first step, what is minus R A? That is K one C A square only for first step. Over two. R C will be Minus R A over two. So for second step, what is minus R A? That is K two C A square over two. So here you can see that the nature of the rate equation is changing as the rate constants are different, and if this nature is also different. So we have more than one rate equation. So this is a multiple reaction system. this is some basic idea about the multiple reaction system now what is the design characteristic so for single reaction system the design characteristic is conversion of the reactor for multiple reaction system the design characteristic is product distribution for half life method sir what is the expression 
Hare Atisha. You can drive that by yourself. For nth order kinetic equation, we have the equation as 1 over C A power n minus 1 minus 1 over C A naught power n minus 1. So at t is equal to t half, C A will be C A naught by 2. So when you put these values, what is C A? C A is C A naught over 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 over C A naught power n minus 1. So here you can see what is this? You can write this part as 2 over C A naught power n minus 1. 2 will go into in the numerator minus 1 upon C A naught power n minus 1. So C A naught C A naught you can take common. So it will become n minus 1 k t half is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 upon C A naught power n minus 1 or you can write it as t half is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 over n minus 1 k into C A naught power when you take this C A naught into the numerator power will become 1 minus 1. This is the expression. Okay. So I hope this is clear to all of you guys. What is the difference between single reaction and multiple reaction system? So now we will talk about the kinetics of multiple reaction system. So in multiple reaction system, we have four types of chemical reactions. Parallel reaction, series reaction, complex reaction and independent reaction. But as per your syllabus, we have only two of them. That is parallel and series. So first, we will talk about the kinetics of series reaction. Is it clear? Can I remove this part? Can I erase it? What is product distribution? That we will discuss when we will talk about the designing. Okay. Can I erase this part? Is it clear to all of you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, wonderful. Kinetic equations for series reaction. So, what is a series reaction? We will have a brief idea about all these things here, and we will discuss all these things in details when we talk about the designing, designing of multiple reaction system. Okay. Anyways. So what is a series reaction? A series reaction as the name suggests, series means consecutive steps. Okay. So series reaction is the one where reaction takes place in consecutive steps simultaneously where a reactant converts into a desired product and further that desired product disappear and produce some undesired product. Okay. Means a reactant gives us the desired product let's say R and further that desired product R converts into some undesired one S. So this is a series reaction and both of these steps takes place simultaneously.
R is the desired product and S is the undesired product. Okay. It may also happen that you may find the reaction like A gives R and R gives S, where S is the desired product. Okay. You may have the reactions like this, but this reaction will not be the series reaction. Okay. Because here A gives R and then further R converts into S. So R is acting like, R is not a product here, R is acting like an intermediate product or you can say intermediate component. Okay. So that's why this will not be a series reaction, that will be a non-elementary reaction for us which is taking place in more than one step. Okay. Although this series reaction may also be elementary or non-elementary depending on the reaction kinetics. But this will be for sure, you can see that as S is the desired product, so to form this desired product, this reactant A is converting into some intermediate complex R and in next step, that intermediate complex is converting into S. So in this kind of reaction will be a non-elementary reaction. It will not be a series reaction. So for this kind of series reaction, how can we find out the kinetic equation? So that depends on the reaction kinetics, reaction order and everything. So let's say first we are talking about the first order series reaction like A gives R, R gives S. For first step rate constant is K1, for second step rate constant is K2 order is 1 1 in both of the steps. So what will be minus R A? As you can see A is the reactant which will disappear in the reaction and we are also talking about the rate in terms of disappearance of A. A will disappear and we are also talking about the disappearance of A. So both are both points in the same both are the same points. So the on right hand side we will have plus and A is participating only in first step. So for first step, what is the rate constant? K1. What is the reactant? A. So concentration of A, power 1. According to power law. So this is the rate equation for A. Similarly for S, we are talking about the rate in terms of formation of S. And here we can see also see that S is appearing. S is a product which is appearing during the reaction, which is forming during the reaction. And we are also talking about, about the formation of S. So it will be positive. As it is participating only in second step, so it will be K2. Concentration of reactant. For this step, what is the reactant? R. Power 1. Next, RR. So we are talking about the rate of reaction in terms of formation of R. You can see R is participating in two steps. So for first step R is forming and we are also talking about the formation of R. So it will be positive as rate constant is K1 and concentration of reactant means Ca. Power 1 as apparent orders are given 1 1. Then for second step add all the, all the add, add all those steps. Okay. Then you are writing the rate equation. So for second step again, R is participating. We are talking about the form rate in terms of formation of R. But in second step, R is disappearing. We are talking about formation, but this is disappearing. So contradiction is here. So we will use minus rate constant is K2. Concentration of reactant is R. So RR will be equal to K1CA minus K2CR. This is the rate equation for series reactions. I hope it is clear to all of you how can you write the rate equations. So now let's part, talk about the kinetic equations. So first for component A, so we know that minus RA for CVRS. All these multiple reaction systems we are discussing for CVRS. Okay. So for CVRS, for constant volume reaction system, rate of reaction may be defined as minus dc over dt 
and from power law we know that it is equal to k1 c f as you can see this and i hope you can solve this part easily at reaction time t equal to 0 concentration of a in the reaction mixture will be c a not at time t it will be c a so after solving this you will get c a is equal to c a not e to the power minus e to the power minus k 1 t this is the kinetic equation or you can say concentration profile for component a next for component r so we have rr and we know that for constant volume reaction system rr can be written as dcr over dt and from power law it is k1 ca minus k2 cr you can write it as dcr over dt plus k2 cr equal to k1 ca as ca is also a dependent variable so to because we want to solve this expression so let's write ca in terms of time from this x part so when you put the value of ca here it will become k1 ca naught e to the power minus k1 t okay and if you see this is first order linear differential equation in the form of dy over dx plus py is equal to q as a function of x and for this kind of first order linear differential equation you know the solution is y is equal to, y into if is equal to integration of q into if dx plus c1 where if that is the integrating factor is e exp integration exponential power integration of pdx okay so i hope all of you can solve this part easily so solve it guys and tell me what will be the answer bala thank you ye le ja ye pata nahi kya pehle se rakhi hai shayad So guys let's solve this so what is p p means k2 dx means dt so when you solve this you will get e to the power k2t so solution y means ca if is k e to the power k2t q q is k1 ca not e to the power minus k1t into if that is e to the power k2t dt plus c1 e to, these are two exponential terms so you can write it as e to the power k2 minus k1 t dt plus c1 so it is cr Yes, it is CR, guys. Thank you. I know that it is CR. I was just checking that you guys are aware or not. You guys are sleeping or what you are doing. So, hence proved you guys are not sleeping. Thank you. So you can solve it as. K1 CA naught into e to the power K2 minus K1 T over K2 minus K1 plus C1, and as you can see that we have only one rate, one integration constant, so we can use initial cons, initial, 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 initial what? Initial condition. Okay, so using initial condition. Uh, 
<sighs> initial condition means what is the initial point if we talk about the independent variable that is t so the initial value for t will be 0 at t equal to 0 then the dependent variable what is dependent variable here cr so for cr the initial value will be that depends now r is the product so it depends on you what whether you are feeding the product or not if you are feeding some amount of product along with the reactants then this value will be cr not which is non zero and if you are sending pure a as the feed then obviously initial concentration of r will be zero so let's say we are sending the pure a pure reactant so this cr will be zero okay if pure a is fed okay so when you put this value here you will get c1 is equal to minus of k1 ca naught over k2 minus k1 that you can check c1 is equal to minus k1 ca naught over k2 minus k1 as this part is 0 so when you put this value of c1 here and take this e to the power k to t on the right hand side you will get CR and ultimately CR will be K1 CA naught over K2 minus K1 e to the power minus K1 T minus e to the power minus K2 T. This is the concentration profile for R or you can say the kinetic equation for R. T0 CR0 T0 CR0 okay wonderful so you guys were talking about the initial condition. It's good to know you are participating in the class that's great. So this is the kinetic equation for R. Similarly guys you can find out the kinetic equation for S as Rs will be DCS by DT that is equal to K2CR put the value of CR from here integrate that you will get a, a new integration constant C2 and at T equal to 0 CS will be 0 so you will get the value of C2 and thus you can calculate CS okay that is one way to find out CS there is one more way you can say the smart way to find out the concentration of S which you can calculate directly that we will discuss later when we, we, when we will talk about the designing okay then I will tell you that the smart way okay but for now if you want to write you can write CS as but I will suggest you to try that at least try to solve that CS with the help of RS equal to DCS by DT equal to K2CR ok try that in your free time anyways so CS will be CA naught 1 minus K2 over k2 minus k1 e to the power minus k1 t plus k1 over k2 minus k1 e to the power minus k2 t this is cs okay and if you plot these equations on a curve means if you want to draw the concentration profile so as you can see when time t will be 0 reaction time t will be 0 ca will be ca naught and as time progresses as reaction proceeds the concentration of a will decrease exponentially similarly if you check for component r it will be something like this 
okay and for s it will be like this it will increase exponentially as you can see as time proceeds this function will decrease this function will also decrease and ultimately the difference will increase so cs will increase like this exponentially and logically also the reaction is a gives r r gives s k1 k2 order is 1 1 logically as well as you can see a is the reactant which will disappear so the concentration of a should decrease in cvrs system for s that is the final product ultimate product okay it is desired or undesired that is a different story but ultimately you can see that it, this is the final product or you can say the ultimate product further s is not disappearing into somewhere else it is the final thing which is appearing in the reaction so it's obvious along the process along the reaction s should increase only so it is increasing only exponentially and if i talk about r so you can see logic logically we can say that r should r will form and then it will disappear so is the concentration of r should increase and then decrease and all these curves are exponential curves as you can see their kinetic equations their concentration profile mathematically okay and uh, i will suggest you that don't focus please do not focus on the final values of these curves where the ca will touch the x axis or not where the final value of ca will be more than cr or cr will be more than ca or cs will be higher or lower whatever it is where this uh, as you can see in this curve this is the maximum value for cr so the maximum value of cr will be equal to ca not or less than ca not or greater than ca not don't focus on all these things right now okay this is just a nature of the curve just observe and understand the nature of the curve what is the nature how concentration of a r and s changing with the time just focus on the nature not on the final values that depends on the reaction kinetics obviously that depends on the value of k1 and k2 that depends on the value of t okay guys so i hope it you will focus only on the nature of the curve not on the their magnitudes so this is something about the kinetics for first order series reaction like a gives r r gives s k1 k2 order is 1 so is it clear guys to me clear yes 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 yep yes clear okay wonderful so since it is clear to all of you so i should ask something from you i should ask some questions so guys if it is clear to all of you then i have a question for you guys you today is friday after that we will meet on monday most probably okay what is most probably? obviously we will meet on monday so you have around 50 plus hours 60 plus hours so in these 60 plus hours whenever you get time to revise cre or whenever you get the free time in these 60 plus hours so i am giving you a question so try to do some analysis some research on this and when we will meet on monday give me the answer okay and if unfortunately you guys are not able to find out the answer then you can discuss with me okay so if you tell me then only i will help you i will discuss this thing if you will not tell me then i will not discuss this part this question and what is the question for the same reaction a gives r r gives s first order series reaction k1 k2 this is the normal concentration curve okay as you can see from the curve at some point at some time t some value of time t 
you can see the value of CR is maximum. Okay, you can see that on the graph as this is the maxima. After this time t, after this point, it is CR is decreasing and before this point CR is obviously less than this. It was increasing curve. So this is the maximum value. So tell me guys, scenario 1, if K1 is greater than K2, then obviously we will have some value of CR max. Let's say CR max dash. Scenario 2, if K2 is greater than K1, then obviously again we will have some value of CR max, let's say CR max double dash. So out of these two values of CR max, which one will be higher? CR max dash will be high or CR max double dash will be high. Means in which case, in which scenario we will get the highest, the highest concentration of R, maximum concentration of R, the value of CR max will be higher for which scenario, 1 or 2. Okay, so this is a question for you guys. You have 60 plus hours to discuss this thing, to analyze this thing, to do some research and after that when we will meet on the Monday, then We will do this discussion. If you will ask me, or if you will say, okay, because if you will not remind me anything, then I will suggest, I will assume that you are not serious about that part. And when you are not serious about that question, that topic, so there is no point to discuss that thing in the class. Is this question clear? I hope it is clear to you. So, and today we will have our weekly interaction over Zoom. So, you guys will get the Zoom link of that Zoom meeting, and we will have that Zoom meeting on uh, after 5:30 after the class. Okay. So guys, let's try to find out the kinetic equation for series reactions. This was for first order series reaction. Now let's talk about some other form of series reactions. Second case, for A gives R, A gives S, rate constant is K1, K2, order is 1, 1. If K1 is equal to K2. Okay. Third case, A gives R, R gives S, rate constant is K1, K2, order is 1 and 0. Fourth case, A gives R, R gives S, this is K1, this is K2, order is 0 and 1. So we have these three cases. So solve any two of them. right now in the class and the third part third case you can solve at your home if you have any doubt then we can discuss that in the next class from where we can get the gate previous year question booklet that we that we will discuss in today in the zoom meeting okay you can discuss that thing in the zoom meeting and i will tell you from where you will get that So guys, let's solve this. Solve any two of these cases. You just need to find out CA and CR right now. Okay. CS you don't need to find out. You can do that calculation for CS at your home. Right now in the class, just do calculation for CA and CR. Okay. For any two of these cases.
बस सवाल तुम्हारा कोई एनालाइज कर रहे हो माय गॉड सी आर केस टू केस वन केस टू वॉट इज केस वन केस वन तो मैंने हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर लिया ब्रो केस टू केस टू केस टू केस थ्री ओके सो यू हैव सॉल्व सेकेंड एंड थर्ड केस सो फॉर सेकेंड केस वे आर ए गिफ्ट आर आर गिफ्ट एस This is K1. This is K2. Order is 1, 1. And if K1 is equal to K2, then what will be the kinetic equations? Okay. So for A, we know that it minus R A will be equal to minus D C A by D T for constant volume reaction system. And after solving this, you will get C A equal to C A not E to the power minus K1 T. It will be same as the last one. For component R. We know that R R will be equal to D C R by D T, and from power law it will be K one C A minus K two C R, and further you can write it as D C R over D T plus K two C R is equal to K one C A, where you can write C A as C A not E to the power minus K one T. So obviously you have to use the integrating factor method. to solve this part so solution will be if will be e to the power integration k2 dt that is e to the power k2 t so solution will be cr into if equal to integration of q that is k1 ca not e to the power minus k1 t into if that is e to the power k2 t dt plus c1 That is C R into e to the power k two t equal to into k one C A not integration of d t plus C one as e to the power k two t and k one t this part will get cancelled as k one and k two are same. So as k one and k two are same, it is given. So C after using initial condition and everything. You will get C R is equal to K one C A not T into E to the power minus K two T. This is for the this is the C R for second case and C A for second case. So I hope it is same for all of you. You guys are writing K. What is K? What is K? we have only k1 and k2 you can't use any variable by your choice for the calculation and everything you can do that but when you are giving the answer don't give the answer in your own variables always give the answer in the given variables now the third case where we have a gives r r gives s K1, K2, order is one and zero. So CA will be same as the last one. CA not into e to the power minus K1 T, and for R, we will have RR as DCR by DT. That will be equal to K1 CA minus K2. Okay. as second step is a zero order reaction so here you can see we have dcr by dt is equal to k1 ca and you can write ca as ca not e to the power minus k1 t minus k2 since this is ordinary differential equation so you can integrate this directly you will get cr is equal to k1 ca not e to the power minus k1 t over Minus K1 minus K2T plus C1. Using initial condition, at t equal to zero, CR will be zero when pure feed is fed. Pure A is fed only. So you will get C1 is equal to C0. 
ओके सो योर फाइनल सी आर विल बी सी ए नॉट वन माइनस e to the power minus k1 t minus k2 t this is the cr for second case i know you guys are saying k means k1 and k2 i know that but try to understand when you are giving any giving the answer always give your answer in the respective terms in the in in terms of given variables okay if you are using anything any variable for your convenience it's okay you can do that but when you are giving your final answer you are or when you are telling your final answer to someone then always use the given variables don't use any other variable from your side okay like i can also write it as this is k1 and k2 you can also write it as this k2 as k1 only so it will become e to the power minus k1 t or you can directly use k2 here doesn't matter both are same and it is given but give your answer either in terms of k1 or k2 that's it don't use any third variable by your own so is it clear guys please solve the fourth case at your home okay because these kinetic equations will be required when we will talk about the designing so this is all about the series reactions i hope it is clear to all of you if in any second or third case anyone has any problem then you can discuss here or otherwise we will move to the next topic so is it clear for s you can solve it by your own you know how to solve it rr rs is equal to dcs by dt that is equal to k2 cr or k2 only so you can solve that now next we will talk about the kinetic equations for parallel reaction what is parallel reaction parallel reaction is the one where a set of reactants or a reactant gives two or more products simultaneously by following different reaction mechanism or different reaction path okay here you two terms are very important to use to mention first simultaneously and second is by following the different reaction path okay because normally students say that what is parallel reaction where a reactant gives two or more products 
Okay. So if I say, let's say if I have this reaction, A gives R plus S. Here as well, I am getting two or more products from the single reactant. But this is not the parallel reaction. Parallel reaction is the one where a set of reactants or a reactant give two or more products by following different reaction path simultaneously. Okay, like this. So that is a parallel reaction. So let's talk about the kinetics. So suppose we are we are using first order parallel reaction. That is A gives R and A gives S. And we want to find out the kinetic equation. So here the rate constant is K, order is 1, here it is K2 and order is 1. So RR will be K1 CA, RS will be K2 CA and minus RA will be K1 CA plus K2 CA. Or you can write it as K1 plus K2 times of CA. So guys, try to solve this, find out the kinetic equation for A, R and S. For A, we have minus RA that can be written as minus DCA by DT for constant volume reaction system is equal to K1 plus K2 times of CA. After solving this, you will get CA is equal to CA0 e to the power minus K1 plus K2 times of T. For component R, we have we know that RR can be written as DCR by DT for CVRS that is equal to K1 CA. So when you put the value of CA, it will be CA0 e to the power minus of K1 plus K2 times of T. So when you integrate this, either you can use the definite integral or you can use the indefinite integral you will get the same answer that your choice. So when you integrate this normally you will get CR is equal to K1 CA0 e to the power minus of K1 plus K2 times of T over minus of K1 plus K2 plus C1. So using initial condition assuming pure A is fed at reaction time t equal to 0, CR will be 0. So you will get C1 is equal to K1 CA0 over K1 plus K2. And when you put this value of C1 here, you will get CR is equal to K1 CA0 over K1 plus K2 times of 1 minus e to the power minus k1 plus k2 t. This is CR. Similarly, you can write it CS as 
बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी आर आर एस के वन सी है आर एस एस के टू सी है सो द ओनली डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन के वन एंड के टू सो वे आर वी यू हैव के वन सो इन यूज के टू इंस्टेड ऑफ के वन सो इन सी आर वी हैव के वन सी ए नॉट ओवर दिस सो इंस्टेड ऑफ के वन यूज के टू सो इट विल बिकम के टू सी ए नॉट ओवर के वन प्लस के टू टाइम्स ऑफ वन माइनस ई टू दावर माइनस ऑफ K1 वन प्लस के टू टाइम्स ऑफ टी दिस इज सी एस सो दीज आर द काइनेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर पैरल रिएक्शन सो इफ यू प्लॉट देअर कंसनट्रेशन प्रोफाइल तो यू नो दैट एट रिएक्शन टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो सी ए विल बी सी ए नॉट एंड एज टाइम प्रोग्रेस इज कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ ए विल डिक्रीज एक्सपोनशियल ओके and for r and s as time progresses the value of this exponential function will decrease and since this value is decreasing the difference will increase so ultimately it will be like this this is cr this is cs if k1 is greater than k2 because you can see that in cr and cs the only difference is k1 and k2 other otherwise everything else in the expressions it is same everything else is same Okay, so if K1 is greater than K2, it will be like this. And similarly, if K1 is less than K2, then if K1 is smaller than K2, obviously then Cs will be more than Cr. So it will be like this. and if k1 and k2 both are same by chance k1 and k2 both are same then the concentration profile for a it will decrease exponentially and for r and s both curves for r and s the both of these curves will coincide each other as k1 and k2 are same so this is the kinetics of first order parallel reaction
if k1 is greater than k2 concentration profile will be like this and if k1 is less than k2 concentration profile will be like this so tell me guys is it correct or we need to change something it should be cs okay as k1 is small so cr will be small so this value will be cs and this will be cr okay so correct it if you also written the same thing bola sahi tha maine likh galat diya thank you for your suggestion your feedback anyways so this is something about the parallel reaction first order parallel reaction so guys suppose we are going in a laboratory okay and some first order parallel reaction is going on like this in a reactor and someone ask you to find out the value of k1 and k2 as we know that ca not here we will have cr cs and unreacted in ca okay so how can we find out the values of k1 and k2 so all of us know that we have ca not cr cs and ca so we can tabulate this data with time we will have the different values of ca cr cs along with reaction time t so as per the first order reaction for component a you can write this curve this equation as ln ca not over ca is equal to k1 plus k2 times of t so if you draw a curve between ln ca not over ca versus t it will be a straight line and the slope of that curve will be equal to k1 plus k2 as you can see here okay so we have one equation k1 k2 you want to solve k1 and k2 so we need two equations this is one equation and second equation we can get with the help of remaining data cr and cs so for that we know that rr over rs rr is dcr by dt rs is dcs by dt rr equal to k1 ca rs is equal to k2 ca okay so here dcr will be equal to k1 over k2 times of dcs so if you integrate this so we know that at reaction time t equal to 0 cs will be cs not or that value can be zero cr will be cr not that can value can be zero if pure a is fed at any reaction time t it will be cs and cr so we will have cr minus cr not is equal to k1 by k2 times of cs minus cs not so here if you draw a curve between cr over cs not if cr not is zero and cs not is also zero then the equation will be cr equal to k1 by k2 times of cs that is y equal to mx it will be a straight line starting from the origin zero and the slope will be equal to k1 by k2 so now we have two equations two unknown variables and two values so by using these two datas you can solve k1 and k2 simple suppose if cr not is zero but cs not is non zero obviously it, it cannot be negative but it will be greater than zero then cr not is zero so on y axis the value will be zero initially 
but CS naught is non-zero. So the curve will shift on the x-axis on the right hand side and it will start from somewhere at this point and the slope will remain same k1 by k2. Similarly, if CR0 is non zero, but CS0 is zero. So on x axis it will be zero initially, but on y axis it will not be zero. So curve will start on the y axis at some at somewhere this point. That will be CR0. And the slope will be obviously k1 by k2. Slope will not change. And if CR0 is non zero and CS0 is also non zero, then the curve will start curve will not start from the origin it will start somewhere at this point where this value is cr0 and this value is cs0 and the slope obviously k1 by k2 so ultimately by using these curves you can find out the value of k1 and k2 for any given first order reaction In exam you will not find such questions where you have to drive the equations and then with the help of equations you have to draw the curve and then with the help of curve you have to solve that. I am just telling you if someone asks you such things, maybe this kind of questions can be asked in interviews only or maybe in some subjective papers, subjective type papers like if you, you appear for the IFS, Indian Forest Service, and you choose chemical engineering as, as your one optional subject in mains exam. Or maybe if you are pursuing mtech or phd and you have to give a ta duty in the cre lab for your btech juniors so you can help those people to solve this kind of things if this kind of experiments are there in btech curriculum ultimately the point of telling all this thing is you should be aware with the significance of kinetic equations and kinetic curves as I also discussed in the for the single reaction system as well how you can find out the rate constant k by using kinetic equation and kinetic curves and with the help of those kinetic curves you can also figure out the activation energy for any given reaction okay anyways guys so this is all about the kinetics of multiple reaction system. Next we will talk about the kinetics of variable volume reaction system. But before that let us discuss some of the gate previous year questions. Thank God, at last this basic part is covered. In exams for, for, from this part, you may get the direct numericals in gate exam or somewhere else. Okay like we discussed one numerical for the kinetics of multiple reactant systems of second order similarly you can get the numericals from this part as well like for some parallel reaction like this k1 k2 is given and they can ask you to calculate the reaction time required to achieve 75 percent conversion of a or 60 percent conversion of a 
okay so if you remember the kinetic equations you can directly use those kinetic equations to solve that numerical or otherwise you have to derive the kinetic equations okay and if you practice this thing uh, it will take only 1 minute at max 1 minute at max to find out the kinetic equation of r for this parallel reaction even for the series reactions okay after some good practice or maybe even after some practice you will be able to memorize these equations as well so it's not a big deal but i will i will suggest to drive all these equations because it will save your time there was a question in your gate exam this year in 2020 question number 153 as per your previous year paper book okay what is the question i am i am not writing or writing the entire question i am just writing the main points okay so the decomposition of acetaldehyde that is x to methane and carbon monoxide follows four steps of free radical mechanism the overall rate of decomposition of x means acetaldehyde is defined as minus rx equal to k2 times of k1 over 2 times of k3 power 1 by 2 into cx power 3 by 2 that is equal to k overall cx power 3 by 2 where k1 k2 k3 denote the rate constants for the elementary steps okay with corresponding activation energies in kilo joule per mole 320 40 and 0 respectively the temperature dependency of the rate constant is described by arrhenius equation all of you know what is arrhenius equation cx denotes the concentration of acetaldehyde the rate constant for the overall reaction is k overall the activation energy for overall reaction in kilo joule per mole rounded off to the nearest integer ओवरऑल आपसे पूछा है क्या होगा इन किलो जूल पर मोल दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज देयर इन दिस गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जाम फॉर टू मार्क्स सो गाइस टेल मी व्हाट विल बी द आंसर व्हाट डू यू थिंक
so solve it now try to think if you focus on this question forget about the question if you just focus on the following equation you can solve it it's very easy numerical even if you don't know the arrhenius theory still you just know the arrhenius equation that k is equal to k not e to the power minus e by rt if you know only that thing as well you can still solve it it's very easy just focus on the equation it's this question has two marks weightage so for two marks even for the one mark people can do anything in the gate exam they can murder someone for one mark as well so for two marks you just need to solve it guys last 30 seconds then we will discuss try तुमने किया सॉल्व कितना सोचते हो यार कुछ तो प्रॉब्लम हुआ है इसमें ऐसा कैसे पॉसिबल है यार पेमेंट हो गया काम नहीं हुआ पेमेंट भी नहीं आया संस्टिट्यूट 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 आई डोंट नो सॉरी व्हाट इज संस्टिट्यूट ओके इट शुड बी सब्सटीट्यूट ओके माय बैड सॉरी तुम्हारा क्या आराम सर क्या लगता है कैसे सॉल्व करना चाहिए वन आंसर इज 200 किलो जूल पर मोल आई डोंट नो द आंसर पता नहीं यार क्या आंसर था ऐसा ही कुछ था शायद एनी वेज गाइज इफ यू जस्ट सी द equation you will find that if you compare these two things these two sides of the equation you will see this part is equal to this so k overall let's say k not k overall will be equal to k2 into k1 over 2 times of k3 power 1 by 2 so if from arrhenius theory we know that k not should be equal to it should be proportional to e to the power minus e not over rt that is overall activation energy k2 should be proportional to e to the power minus e2 by rt k1 should be proportional to e to the power minus e1 by rt and k3 should be proportional to e to the power minus e3 by rt power 1 by 2 if you use k not or if you don't use k not doesn't matter because if you use k not that will be k not for overall step k not for first reaction k not for second reaction k not for third reaction and so on ultimately all these things will be again when you compare them so exponential functions will be compared with the exponential functions and constant values will be compared with each other so you will get overall rate k not equal to some k not like this okay so it's better to don't use that thing as it is not required here so now if you compare the exponential terms you will get minus e not over rt is equal to minus e2 over rt 
डायरेक्ट जल्दी नहीं लिखना चाहिए ना पहले से सॉल्व कर लेना चाहिए हेयर वी विल हैव ई टू दी पावर ई थ्री माइनस ई वन ओवर टू आर टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू पावर वन बाई टू एस टू इज सम कॉन्स्टेंट सो वेन दिस एक्सपोनशियल टर्म विल गो ऑन इन द नमरेटर इट विल बिकम ई थ्री माइनस ई वन ओवर आर टी बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्क्वायर रूट इट विल बी ई थ्री माइनस ई वन ओवर टू आर टी सो दिस सम कॉन्स्टेंट सो नाउ वैन यू कंपेयर ऑल दिस एंड दिस एक्सपोनशियल एंड दिस एक्सपोनशियल टर्म आर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो इट विल बिकम ई टू दी पावर ई थ्री माइनस ई वन ओवर टू आर टी माइनस e2 over rt or as simply you can write it as like this when you take the lcm so now compare all these things you will get e0 is equal to as this is minus here you will have e3 minus e1 minus 2 e2 rt rt will get cancelled over 2 so minus sign when you take this minus on the right hand side it will become minus e3 plus e1 plus 2 e2 so now put the values e3 is 0 e1 is 320 e2 is 40 over 2 so you will get 200 kilo joule per mo that is the answer simple so this question was there for 2 marks it's a easy question Okay. So if you focus on the numerical, if you read the question statement properly, you can solve any of the numerical. Okay. Three forty. No, it should be four hundred. Check your calculations. What did you do in bracket? Which bracket? This one. I didn't do anything. K1 means K1 will according to Arrhenius theory, K1 will be proportional to e to the power minus e1 by rt. K3 will be proportional to e to the power minus e3 by rt. This power is 1 by 2. So when you take this exponential term from denominator to numerator, it will become e to the power e3 minus e1 over rt because this is minus, it will become plus. So e to the power e3 minus e1 over rt. Because of the square root, that power, that one by two will be multiplied with the existing term, so it will become e three minus e one over two r t. That's it. Is it clear now? Oh, I think okay, okay. Hmm. So this question was there for two marks. Simple. क्या यार मजाक चल रहा है क्या ऐसे क्वेश्चन आएंगे आपके एग्जाम क्या करें वो ऐसे ही आते हैं रिमेंबर गाइस गेट एग्जाम इज वेरी इजी बट इट्स नॉट सिंपल टू गेट गुड रैंक बिकॉज वी हैव टू बी कंसिस्टेंट इफ यू आर कंसिस्टेंट देन यू विल गेट अ रैंक इन टॉप टेन और टॉप हंड्रेड फॉर श्योर सो नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 135 फ्रॉम 2018. दिस वाज देयर फॉर वन मार्क फॉर अ केमिकल रिएक्शन आई कैन राइट दिस इट्स For a chemical reaction, the ratio of rate constant at 500 Kelvin to that of at 400 Kelvin is 2.5. 
given that r is equal to 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin calculate the value of activation energy in kilojoule per mole options are given a 10.5 b 12.0 c 15.2 and d 18.4 For which reaction order? Next question. The half life of the reaction will be half of its full lifetime. Option A zero, option B one by two, option C one, and option D two.
So guys, for question number one thirty-five, what is the answer? Fifteen point two. And for second question, you are saying it is zero total reaction. So fifteen point two and zero. So is it all these things are clear to all of you, or anyone wants to discuss any of the this question? For the second June batch, the Zoom meeting will be at 5:30, and for the second July batch, it will be at 6 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, not at 6. At 5:45. For second June batch, it will be at 5:30, and for second July batch, it will be at 5:45. Okay, guys. Please solve question one one three. Okay. i'll do that so you will get the zoom link it's very easy as you have to calculate the activation energy with the help of rate constants at different temperature you can use rns theory you know already you know the rate equation that you know the equation that is ln k2 by k1 is equal to e by r 1 over t1 minus t2 as r is in kilo joule per mole per kelvin you will get e in joule per mole so you have to change that in kilojoule per mole so your answer will be 15.2 okay question number 113 that we will discuss so now guys note down the number of questions okay i will share the updated pdf of cre having last previous year questions from 2001 to 2020 okay i will give you the i will give you the link of that pdf in zoom meeting today okay so according to that pdf which is updated i am giving you some questions which are based on the part which we have already discussed till now so try to solve these new questions in over this weekend so that if you have any doubt then we can discuss that in the next class okay and it will also help you to get a good marks a good practice for the upcoming midterm test which will be on next sunday maybe on 19th yes yes so the questions are gate previous year questions 26 27 33 39 40 41 42 62 69 76 डबल 7 94101 10913 120 132 to 135 153 okay so you can practice all these things in your over this weekend So next is question one one three. 
for which reaction order the half life of the reaction will be half of its full lifetime full lifetime means uh, the time taken by the reaction for 100% conversion okay means t half is equal to half of the full lifetime where the conversion will be 100% okay so from the options we have 0 1 half and 1 by 2 so one thing is clear as you can see the options for first order reaction 100% conversion is achieved in infinite time so obviously since 100% conversion is achieved in infinite time so half life cannot be half of that because half of infinite will be infinite so this could not be the answer for second order reaction we already know that 100% conversion is not possible because XA will be less than 1 always so it is also not possible we have discussed all these things during the kinetic equations now we are left with two options A and B so we can check for that very easily like let's check for zeroth order reaction so for zeroth order reaction we know that kinetic equation is CA0 minus CA equal to KT by 2 so for full lifetime at x equal to 1 ca will be 0 thus t100 will be 0 ca0 it's not kt by 2 it's kt only yeah? so ca0 over k this is full lifetime for x equal to 0 0.5 that is for half life it will be ca0 by 2 thus t half will be equal to ca0 by 2 ca0 minus ca0 by 2 means ca0 over 2 and k so here it is clear that t half is half of the full lifetime so option a will be the correct answer simple is it clear now in mcq questions see in mcq questions obviously there are four options and one of them will be correct okay and in most of the MCQ questions either from CRE or from any other subjects remember that obviously one option is correct three will be incorrect there so if you are clear with the concept if you know the meaning of each and every term you know the concept then you can directly eliminate the two options at least and sometimes three incorrect options you can eliminate directly okay so you will not be required to solve it or use any pen or paper so for that you should be you should know the meaning of each and every term we are using in the chemical engineering remember this it is very good practice so practice gate previous year questions practice the assignment question practice the questions which we are discussing in the class and the test series questions as well obviously okay because if i talk about cre only so in class du with during the entire course we will discuss almost 50 to 60 may maybe more than 50 numericals in the class only which are very different numericals okay 150 plus questions are already there in your gate previous year papers book from last 21 years so 200 questions are these are the 200 questions almost 50 questions you will get in your midterm test 250 questions around 150 questions 120 to 150 questions you will get in your assignments different questions so almost 250 plus 150 around 400 questions are this and in online test series as well you will get almost 40 40 20 about 200 and 250 questions in online test series only so in CRE only you will get more than 800 unique questions for the practice so after that i don't think you will require any other book or any other thing to do that is more than enough so guys 
that is all for today next class we will discuss that is kinetics of variable volume reaction system so before you come to the next class i have a question for you one more question for variable volume reaction system we know that volume of reaction mixture changes with reaction time that means volume of reaction mixture at any time t will not be same as the initial volume okay and normally we relate the volume of reaction mixture at any time t with the initial volume by using the expression this expression v equal to v not 1 plus epsilon a x a epsilon a is the volume acceleration factor and all these things converse x a you know what is x a okay so the my my question is we will discuss that in next class my question is why volume is the linear function of conversion okay this question can be asked in the interviews in a different ways like first is why the volume is linear function of x simple second is v minus v not v minus v not means change in volume so why change in volume is directly proportional to x a why change in volume is the linear function of x a next they can ask v minus v not over v not will be equal to epsilon a x a as you can see so change percentage change in volume is directly proportional to x a why or they can simply say prove that percentage change in volume is proportional to epsilon a and x a okay whatever it is so they can ask the same question in different ways so i am asking the same question to you obviously as as you have this weekend you have almost 60 plus hours with you to practice all these things uh, practice try to find out the answer otherwise we will discuss we obviously we will discuss that thing but try to give your time as well for this thing why volume is the linear function of x a okay for variable volume reaction system so we will discuss that thing in the next class that topic will be kinetics of variable volume reaction system second how can we identify the variable and variable volume reaction system and constant volume reaction system that we will discuss and we will also discuss if we get the time then we will also discuss how to calculate rate constant r and these questions okay if you have any doubt if you find any difficulty in any of this these questions then we will also discuss all those things okay so out of these questions please try to solve give your time on these questions question number 132 question number 69 question number 11 वन वन थ्री तो अभी हमने कर ही लिया ना वन वन थ्री नहीं है वन वन फोर है यस वन वन फोर एंड दीज टू क्वेश्चन सो दीज आर द मस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन ओके दे कैन टेक योर सम टाइम सो थिंक अबाउट दीज थिंग्स दीज क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज वी विल डिस्कस इन द क्लास सो दैट्स ऑल गाइज फॉर टूडे थैंक यू for your response and see you next time so now we will have a zoom meeting with the second june batch at 5:30 and with second july batch at 5:45 you will get the zoom link over your whatsapp so if any one of you is not on the whatsapp then you can call to call on the office number to get the zoom link okay thank you guys you got the message for 550 only i will check and you will get the new message don't worry <laughs>